Oh my gosh, welcome back to my sleepover. Of course, I had to invite you again after how much fun we had last time. Um, so let me take these off. Um, it's again, very late at night. So I have like quite a few things that I want to do today. I want to show you what I did today and like what I got today. And I also have like a bunch of like little random topics that I want to just like talk about today. So this is probably going to be a very like chatty, blabbering sleepover. So hope you don't mind that. But anyway, let's start with uh, uh, what did I do today? I actually went outside today. I know, shocker. And um, I'm gonna sit on my bed and show you some of the stuff I got, but hold on. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on like a hoodie first because I'm a little bit cold. Okay, so we're gonna do a little dress up in a minute, but I wanna show you what I got today because I think you're gonna like it. Um, <laughs> so let's start off first with kind of the more boring things. So I went to, uh, to the thrift store today and I spent a lot of time looking at the books there and I got this um, ABCs of nature, it's a, like a nature encyclopedia and it's actually not for me. I'm actually going to be giving this to another person later but yeah I was just flipping through this entire book and what's crazy about it is that it's it was printed in the United States in November 1985. How crazy is that? That is like this is literally vintage and like the the freaking pictures and illustrations here are so cool Oh my gosh, let me just try to find some I was like so fascinated by all these like freaking pictures and stuff like just for example Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with freaking nature encyclopedias from the Nate from the 1980s But I will show you what else I got so um, I also got this um <laughs> Airplane pillow or what is it called? These are called airplane pillows, right? Or Whatever travel pillows because actually I don't know if you can see but I have little piercings on my ears and I got them like November last year, but they are still kind of like hurting because I just keep sleeping on my side like on my side and it, it you know the piercer recommended me to get a these types of pillows to sleep on so i finally got one a little bit late but i'm gonna see if that helps me also this is not new but i wanted to show you my pusheen since i guess we're doing show and tell now anyway <laughs> she's my favorite little plushie i love her so much she sleeps she's on my bed but like she's not very comfortable to hug because she's a bit too small, but you know, it's okay. I still love her and okay So the most important most cool thing that I got um, at the this was actually I got it from TJ Maxx um, But I got a freaking <gasps> oh my gosh, wait <laughs> Let me zip it up I got this freaking juicy couture hoodie and it's like so small But it's like so cute on me when I tried it on it's like a very tight fitted hoodie But I love how it looks and it's my first ever piece of Juicy Couture clothing. I never thought I would get one of these, but I just saw it and it was like the only one they had in the store. And I was just like, you know what? Why don't I just try it on? And I freaking loved it. So yeah, I got my first ever Juicy Couture from TJ Maxx, which means like, you know, it was a lot cheaper than like the retail price, which is apparently $120. I got it for 20, just saying. <laughs> kind of crazy. But yeah, so I'm gonna be wearing this today when we're doing dress up. Um, I'm gonna put put together a little cute outfit. Ah, I'm so excited and it's like so so soft and fluffy. But yes, okay, so let me um so okay. The other thing I wanted to wear with my outfit, I'm gonna see if this looks good. I don't know, but I wanted to try on like wearing these shorts that I never wear because they look a little bit silly, but maybe they'll work with this outfit. And then just some black leggings. Um, these are inside out. No, they're not. No, they're not. I lied. So yeah, let me put this on. Time to cut off the tag. Okay, so my legging idea did not work. I did not like how those shorts looked on me. Um, but I think I just made the cutest outfit anyway. This is like low-key. I don't know why this is giving me like some sort of punk vibes, but it's like with Juicy Couture, so I don't understand how that's supposed to work. But honestly, I feel like I would wear this outfit if I was in the cyberpunk universe. Oh my gosh, of course I'm mentioning cyberpunk, of course I am. But seriously, like something about it is just giving me like the right amount of punk to like 
colorful playfulness that I feel like cyberpunk really emulates. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this outfit. So yeah, little juicy couture thing, and of course like the back. Let me see if I can show it to you. Wait. Yeah. I really hope that you could see that. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm really happy that I got this because it's been a while since I got some new clothes. And uh, yeah, I like this hoodie. Of course, it's going to be a while till I can wear it outside because it's still summer here in Vegas. But yeah, at least I can wear it with our in our sleepover. But anyways, you know, speaking of um, cyberpunk, sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm being such a nerd. But you guys should know it's my special interest, so I'm allowed to talk about it. Anyway, so you guys uh, gave me some like, you know, comments about my tattoo idea um, with my cyberpunk cyberwear sleeve, um, which I mentioned in my last sleepover video, if you don't know. And a lot of you really like the idea, especially like the half cyberpunk, half fantasy thing, which I'm still thinking about how I would execute that um, and make it actually look like good. But I'm totally so excited to get that tattoo. So I just wanted to thank you guys for leaving your comments and kind of like, you know, confirming that it's a good idea. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm super excited to get that. Obviously not anytime soon, but I'm definitely going to like, you know, think about it and start planning and, well, not planning, but anyway. Yeah, so I'm really excited for that. And it's gonna <laughs> it's just going to be awesome. I've also been, um, I've been really wanting to play um, Minecraft and Cyberpunk 2077, but like, I don't, uh, like, I don't have the free time for it like at this moment or like lately because I've just been really busy honestly and I've been trying to like spend all of my free time like working and stuff I have like you know my website stuff going on right now I'm really like spending a lot of time working on my website and like renovating it um so yeah but I've been just really wanting to play Minecraft like on my own world of course I play Minecraft when I record my Minecraft videos for my Minecraft channel but like I want to just like play it by myself in my own little world and I would, like, oh, man, I just wish I, like, had the time, you know, like, I could always get on, but now I'm gonna be feeling bad. I'm gonna be like, oh, I, sh I could be working right now. I should be working. Uh, but yeah, I've also been wanting to play Cyberpunk, of course. I've been kind of taking a break from that because when I, f when I first started playing, I was just, like, so, so into it. And I couldn't stop playing. Like, seriously, it was bad. <laughs> um... But yeah, I've been playing a little bit less lately just because I know I shouldn't be spending all my time on video games. But yeah, I've been really, really wanting to play. I, uh, I'm just doing side gigs right now, so I'm not like in a rush or anything. But yeah, I just, I just want to play video games. I just want to play video games. <laughs> um, but yeah, also I wanted to, okay, I'm going to show you guys my uh, website updates because I did a lot, I did a lot since the last time I showed you guys. And I've noticed that some of you have been like, you know, lurking on my website. I've, I see you, I see you. And uh, I'm going to show you guys in case you don't know what I changed. Um, but another thing I wanted to talk about just like really quick, this is so random, but I just thought I would mention it, um, is like what kind of music I've been listening to recently because I really love talking about music and like what other... Um, you know, what other people's music tastes are. I'm always super curious about that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to like, you know, um, if you want to answer this question for yourself, like what type of music have you been listening to lately? Leave me a comment because I'm going to be so curious. I really want to know because I just love talking about like music preferences and stuff and like music tastes and whatever. So I'll tell you what I've been listening to recently. Um, so if you don't know, like my favorite music genres of like of all time is basically like EDM and metal. Those are like the two big umbrellas that I fall under and then there's a whole bunch of sh uh, subgenres. I was gonna say shub <laughs> shub genres, subgenres under there, right? But my main two, yeah. Uh, so lately I've been listening to, I'm always listening to EDM, like I'm always listening to EDM, but specifically I've been really like for a while now, for the past few months, I've been really like on this huge listening spree of Vila, who is a vocalist and she's like a producer and she is actually like okay so i i originally had her as like before i really got into her music i've known her from a few songs and i voice canoned her voice for one of my own ocs and like i basically what that means is like okay 
her voice is like similar to one of my OCs. So I'm gonna say that, oh, my this OC of mine has like Vila's voice. I'm not officially claiming it or anything, of course, but just like as a, you know, fun little comparison. So for for a while, I only cons I only like really thought about Vila because of my OC who I, you know, kind of considered her voice to sound alike to. But now, like I've been, after that, <laughs> I actually started to get really into her music and I have been listening to everything. Her voice is so amazing. Like, oh my gosh. And I just love her tracks that she, you know, vo like, uh, voices. They're all so amazing. And I've been like, oh, I've just been so into her music lately. It's just so good. And like, her new stuff, her old stuff from like 12 freaking years ago, I'm all into it all. Like, even her newest stuff is really good. Which is crazy because she's been around for so long. Like, literally, I'm on YouTube Music right now because this isn't on Spotify. I'm listening to, um, this song, uh, by Vila, which is called, is it called Honora? Hold on, I'm confused. Yes, it's called Honora. I keep considering it, I keep thinking it's called Wake the Phantom, but that's the artist's name. It's Wake the Phantom featuring Vila, and the, I think the song is called Honora, but I always say Wake the Phantom in my head when I think of the song. But anyway, I love that song. Um, it's amazing, it's so good. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've been listening to a lot of Vila. I've also been listening to, like, lately, well, a few months ago, I recently, like, discovered uh, Swedish punk rock, and uh, it's just like, it, it was so random because I just randomly started to listen to it after I watched this Swedish guy's like video about the Swedish like punk scene. And I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. I didn't know there was a punk scene in Sweden and I just learned about it. And then I, I heard like a song on the recording of like, a, in a clip of a concert that this guy was attending. And I was like, oh my God, the song is really good. I'm gonna listen to it. And then I went down this huge rabbit hole. I discovered a band I really like. They're called Mjolnir with a E instead of a I in the word Mjolnir. Um, so I really like that band. Super, super good. Um, and yeah, I don't know, Swedish punk rock is actually really good. Like I really like it. I was very surprised because I've never been into punk rock. Um, but yeah, so that's that was really cool to just discover, especially considering we, I'm Swedish. So it was cool to like co like connect to Swedish culture in like a new way, especially the punk rock scene. Like hell yeah, that's metal. <laughs> well, I guess it's punk. Anyway, so yeah, speaking of metal, I've also been you know listening to metal. Um, honestly, I've been not listening to metal as much lately. Of course, I'm still into it, <laughs> but I've been also listening to, I've been getting slowly back into emo music. For a while, I took a really long break from listening to any emo music because um, it just like, uh, it just, I started to associate like really negative memories with emo music um, just because of the, like, the, it just happened to be the music I listened to during a time in my life where, you know, anyway, I'm sure you get the idea, so. Yeah, I took a pretty long break, but I've been recently getting back into it a little bit. I've been kind of like exploring new emo music and like music I've not listened to in the past. I've been listening to a lot of Breaking Benjamin because like my favorite emo band has always been Pierce the Veil. And I've, I've liked like, you know, My Chemical Romance and a few other of those bands that are pretty well known. Um, but lately I've been really into Breaking Benjamin and honestly, I really like their style a lot. I think it really fits with my current like music taste. Probably a little bit more than Pierce the Veil, honestly. I really love the vocals in Breaking Benjamin. Um, and yeah, I've also been listening to like uh, Linkin Park for the first time in my life, which is interesting because I've been, I've been like hearing about Linkin Park all my life, but I've never really listened to them before. And yeah, so I just discovered like a few songs. I'm starting out new with Linkin Park, guys. So if you're a Linkin Park fan, let me know your favorite songs. I'll give them a listen. Um, if you're a Breaking Benjamin fan, also let me know what like more, what your favorite songs are. Um, I've been getting into them a lot, so yeah. Yay, emo music. <laughs> so yeah, by the way, I know a lot of you guys call me scene. I've never really been into the scene culture, honestly. I, uh, I, I'm more in the emo subculture, honestly, but you can s I, I mean, if the scene kids claim me, I guess I'm scene. <laughs> I've listened to scene music just a little bit, not that much, but I do listen to it, like, sometimes, on occasion, but I'm definitely more of, like, an emo person. In terms of style, though, I'm very, like, into scene-mo. Scene-mo. Wow, this is a really long tangent. I don't even... 
yeah um what else so yeah basically just that i guess <laughs> oh i've been also listening to cyberpunk music of course of course i've been playing samurai's freaking songs because <laughs> okay i need to stop i need to stop i need to stop i'm gonna freak out <sighs> But yeah. Oh, oh, I wanted to mention another artist. Speaking of cyberpunk music. So this artist. Whoops. Um, this artist, they're called High Society. And they do this really cool style of music called, they call it Data Mosh. I'm pretty sure, Data Mosh. And it's the coolest thing ever because I've always wanted to find a type of music that combines metal with like electronic music like EDM and like futuristic sound Which is exactly how I described my OC band the Dreamwalkers if you remember from my Akane video Where I was basically describing what I would think their music sounds like and I, I like said, you know, like metal with EDM and like futuristic cyberpunk sound Bro, High Society is exactly that. It's exactly what I was talking about. And like, I've been really like getting into them. I've known, I've like listened to High Society for a really long time, honestly, but like, I never really fully explored their discography until recently. And like, dude, <laughs> it's so cool. It's so freaking cool. Like genuinely, it feels like you're like transcending into another dimension. Like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. So yeah. I guess now to answer the question like what what artist I would consider my band to sound like the Dreamwalkers my OC band um, definitely high society with like female vocals as well because you know high society does a lot of male screamo vocals but I would also imagine Dreamwalkers to have female vocals and male vocals anyway this is a huge huge tangent I'm sorry but <laughs> okay Okay, 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 we need to stop, we need to stop. <laughs> so, okay, anyways. <laughs> um, I also wanted to talk about, um, oh yeah, my website, I wanted to show you my website, what I changed. It was quite a lot, so let me show you. By the way, check out my headphones, they have a um, Monster Cat sticker. If you guys listen to Monster Cat, you're awesome. Anyway, so this is what my website currently looks like, and I changed the welcome screen to this because I'm just currently renovating my website, so I wanted people to know that it's kind of like, you know, work in progress, things are changing. Um, let me, hold on. Not centered, there we go. So anyway, the home page is very similar to when you last saw it. I added a few new websites here. And I added this chat box, which is literally just a place where you can type out messages Ooh. and it'll just come here <laughs> and you can chat with other people. It was really fun. I really love this implementation. So if you guys want to leave a message, you can. It's really simple. You just put in a username and you can send a message. That's it. Um, you can also customize your profile. You can add a uh, profile picture and a URL, which I recommend you do if you have a website so then people can click on your website. But yeah, super fun. I love it. And um, so let's see here. I also was working on my like different categories here. So I have um, like some updated customization within my blog. So for example, if you click on illustration, it looks like this now. So I tried to actually figure out how to customize all of my like you know my different blogs so this is my illustration blog and i also put my favorite artists here and you know why i like them and some stamps that relate to art and over here in digital sketchbook i did a few of these so i'm going to show you which ones i changed digital sketchbooks look like this now and we have some stamps i also put like a little note here for myself um and then lastly i put journal this is new, this is the final, or the, the latest thing that I did, and I think it looks pretty cute. So I also put some, like, um, some uh, resources, I guess, here for, like, inspiration and different journaling prompts, and some journaling stamps, of course. So yeah, you can, like, click on these and just save them uh, and use them for inspiration. And lastly, I changed Minecraft, so Minecraft blog is now a little bit more fun. I also have these we can click on to access all of my different Minecraft series. And of course, the Minecraft stamps. And look at this cute little guest. I love this one. And the last thing I was working on lately was my about me. So I actually just kind of made this a lot cuter. Um, I put like my platforms here and you know, send me an email. Guys, I love emails. Please send me email. <laughs> and then, okay, these are really tiny. Oop. 
but I found these cute little like identity buttons or something and I just put some of that describe me and of course I updated my blinkies collection my stamp collection my buttons so yeah these are just so much fun to collect I've been just scouring through the internet trying to find some and I actually made a blinky of my own um, with a generator I didn't actually design it from scratch but uh, if you can see it it says, I love EDM, yay! Because <laughs> I couldn't find an EDM one, so I just made one. Anyway, <laughs> I like this one. It's, uh, eyes on your page, stealing your source code. <laughs> I'm not actually doing that. I don't know how to steal source code. But yeah, I just found that one funny because troll face is actually super cool. Anyways, <laughs> I also added, you know, a little bit more fun to the credits page. I'm still working on updating this. I haven't gotten around to it, but anyways, yes. So this is under construction. Everything still is under construction. And yeah, so I'm really, really happy with how this is turning out so far. I still don't know what I want to do with the welcome screen. I'm honestly just not really sure what to put here or how to lay it out. If you have any ideas, please let me know. I don't really know how I want to put this, how I want to set it up yet, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the rest of this looks. And yeah, I'm just going to try to keep adding on to it until I can make it as fun and cute and like awesome as possible. But yeah, I've been really trying to push myself, trying to learn how I can use this content management software and actually like apply my freaking like creativity into it. And yeah, I mean, it's definitely been like a learning challenge or learning curve, but it's just so much fun. Like seriously, I cannot stop. Like every single night for the past few nights, I've just been like spending hours on my website trying to make it look better. And yeah, I'm like, man, it's just as crazy because if I didn't get those comments of people literally criticizing my webpage, I would have never thought of doing this. And I am just so happy that I chose to do this. Like, seriously, I'm so happy because like, it just taught me so much. I'm definitely, I'm so excited to share this with you guys and like actually make a video about it and like tell you how I did everything that I did and like what kind of resources I used and everything. So, I mean, it was just super fun. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm also still working on my commissions and I've just been, I've been dying to make an art video, but I haven't had the chance to draw for an art video. So. I need to finish my commissions. I finished one of them, but now I'm working on my, my second one. But yeah, um, so once that's done, I'm definitely going to be making some more art videos. Um, but I hope you don't mind the IRL stuff. I mean, I've always considered this channel to be both my, or IRL and art. Um, but yeah, I just, ah, I want I have so many art videos, like, planned and ideas for them that I want to do. So I've been just like craving, craving to draw. I want to draw. But anyways, I also am planning on making a new character. Um, and I'm going to actually make a video about this because I want to wait, actually, maybe this is better so you can actually see me a little bit more. Um, but I've been wanting to like document how I make this character and kind of like tell you guys my character process, my character creation process. Just give you some tips. It's not going to be super like a formal education, character design course, but it's just going to be like my personal tips and tricks, like what I personally do to create my OCs in case it helps one of you guys out. Um, but yeah, I haven't made a new OC in a very long time because I typically just try to build upon what I already have. And I don't make a new OCs unless I have like a very specific cool idea in mind. This is okay. So on another note, I've been wanting to kind of mention this because I, uh, I've been feeling like, okay, I don't know why am I just can't coherent right now. Um, so this is like something that I've been like experiencing kind of subconsciously. And I just kind of realized that like the more time that goes on, the more, as more time goes on, uh, I feel like my older artworks, even though if I still consider them good, I just feel like I can't be proud of them anymore because like they're so like, they were so long ago, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but just like for example, the artworks that I made last year in 2023, there's this one piece that I really really love and it's of my character Akane, who I just mentioned earlier when we were talking about music. Um, and I am so, so, so happy with how that piece came out. I worked so hard on it and I love it so much, but I feel like just because I made it last year, I can't like, you know, be proud of it anymore. Like, oh, you know, it's so old now. I should be, you know, focusing on what I do now and not, 
you know, the art that I made in the past. But I feel like that's really dumb because like, why should it matter how long ago you made a drawing? Like if you still like it, if you're still proud of it, it shouldn't really matter. But for me, like I just start to criticize myself. Like, man, why do I still like this piece? Am I like not improving fast enough? Like, can I, can I do better now if I try? Like, I don't know. I get insecure about it for some reason. But yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like pieces from the past, like probably from around 2022 onwards that I'm still proud of. And it kind of scares me in a way because it makes me feel like if I don't like hate my old art, have I been improving? And the, the obvious answer is of course, of course I have because I've been drawing all this time. Like the thing is I'm not like professional, no, I'm not like formally studying art right now. I'm not taking any courses. I'm not like practicing vig vi vigorously every single day. I'm not attending, I'm not an art student, you know what I mean? I'm just doing it kind of like in my free time when I can now because that's all I really can do. I don't have the time to like spare six hours every day you know, practicing, even though I wish I could, but like, just like, even though I do art so like casually, like in terms of um, improving, I still improve because I just, I've still been consistently drawing every single, like every year. Um, so of course, like I can't expect myself to have exponential growth, but then I still get really like insecure about the fact that like, I still like some of my old art, but it's funny because I don't like all of my old art, not even from last year, not even from 2023. I like like a few pieces, maybe like what, two, three, four, and the rest of it I'm just like, no, I didn't draw that, <laughs> it's so bad. So obviously I've been improving, but like I just like, ugh, I feel like I can't be proud of it because it was like in the past. Like I should be proud of what I do now. Um, I don't know, art is so weird, it's just like crazy how like we can make a masterpiece in our own opinion of course subjectively and then still hate on it like come on man like i swear there's like a piece there's this painting that i made a really long time ago of my character blaze and it was kind of like a half study of one of Wallop's paintings and i just like kind of copied the composition and lighting and uh, just made it with my own character of course and anyway um, but I really love how that piece came out because I like, you know, it was a study so of course I was kind of like referencing off of an already such a masterful artist. So that is probably the reason why I still like it is because I didn't just like freehand, you know, freehanded. I, I did practice based off an existing beautiful artwork. So of course I should still be proud of it. I, I executed it pretty well in my opinion, but then I just feel so guilty for still liking it. It's just so, so dumb. Anyway, let me know if you feel that way because I just like, I kind of thought about that today and I was just like, huh, that is just so weird. Like why, why am I so upset over, over liking my old art? Even though I, I hate like 90% of it. I also, okay, sorry. This is also just a random change of topic. I wanted to show you um, my journal. I'm pretty sure I've shown it already in the past, but this is what it looks like. And this is the cover. Cute. I spent a lot of time like decorating it. And um, I just like putting random stuff in here, but also I, uh, this is my glass pen that I use to draw, or not to draw, to journal with. Well, sometimes I draw with it. But yeah, I use a glass pen because I thought it was a pretty cool concept. I wanted to try it out. I actually had an old, a uh, different glass pen, but I, <laughs> I dropped it like an inch from one part of my desk to like a lower part of my desk and it broke the tip, literally chipped off. And I had to get a new one because I tried to sand it down and it just made it worse. So yeah, but I like the new one more. Actually, what I don't like about this one is that this, this color, what does this color look like to you? Because if you say purple, you're lying. I ordered a purple glass pen and they sent me this, which looked nothing like the listing photos. It is definitely not purple. This is like a warm pink at best. But the thing is, I still like it. It's just not what I wanted, which is very, upsetting as a purple lover, well, purple obsessor, if, if you will, but I still like it. I think glass pens are really cool. Um, I need to wash this one, obviously. I just wash it in the morning, like when I have to journal again. Um, but yeah, if you've never tried a glass pen, I definitely recommend it if you're into journaling. It's like really fun 
and what I like about it is that you don't have to, um, you don't have to like buy new pens, you just have to buy new ink. This is the ink bottle that I got and it was really cheap. It's a really good ink, like it works for just fine. And this is a huge amount of ink for very, very cheap. And I'm definitely never gonna run out of this. I'm just saying I'm probably gonna die before I do. So anyway, what I'm saying is as long as I don't break this, I'm pretty much good to go. <laughs> like I don't have to buy any new pens, which makes me happy because I don't like having to like refill on things if I can avoid it. But yeah, anyway, I, uh, I've been, you know, for a while I've been journaling every day and then I just kind of like don't as often anymore. I journaled this morning, uh, but yeah, I need to get back into the habit of it. It's just like, oh, sometimes I really can't be bothered, but I definitely really enjoy journaling. It's so much fun. It's so like, it's just one of those activities, you know, it's really, really awesome. And, uh, you know, ironically, I've, I've been journaling, but I, I haven't been sketching oh, in a sketchbook in so long. And honestly, I just got really out of the practice of drawing in my sketchbooks ever since I graduated high school because I just like don't really have the time anymore because back in high school I would literally just sketch in class like all the time and that's why I was able to fill up my my sketchbooks back then was because I was just doing it in class um, but now of course I don't really have that so I just don't sketch anymore which is it's kind of sad because I miss having like a sketchbook and actually, I, I consider my journal to be my sketchbook now because I actually do sketch in it sometimes, but very rarely. And it just makes me sad. Like, I never- this is my latest sketchbook. I never even finished it. I'm definitely not going to, but it's kind of a shame. This was like the first drawing I made in it. And so my character, Cherry, she's crying, which is sad, but anyway, yeah. It's actually ironically- my favorite drawing in the whole sketchbook. I only filled it up to like around halfway, but I just like stopped putting in any like artistic effort into my sketchbook after graduating. I just started using it as kind of like a, like a, um, what, what's the word? Like a brainstorming kind of, oh, what the? <laughs> like a brainstorming book and just kind of like really rough concepts, you know? So it just kind of stopped being fun. So I don't, yeah, I don't use a sketchbook anymore, which is sad, but I use a journal now and I still draw, of course, digitally. I guess I'm just a digital artist, whatever. But yeah, I don't know if I'll ever get back into the habit of sketchbooking, but I, uh, you know, I have my journal there to sketch in whenever I really want to. But yeah, I, uh, I'm in bed now and honestly, I really wish that I could go out with this, <clears throat> with this outfit on because I just love it so much. It's so cute so cute um even though i'm really hot honestly right now <laughs> it is really hot um but also i wanted to show you this this is a little um little paper squishy that i got from an etsy store and it was like the only you know it was a one-off thing like they don't have any more in stock because this was the only one they made of this type but you know it, it was really okay i'm gonna tell you the story behind why i bought this because like, if you look at it, it looks a little bit, you know, like a little bit rough on the edges, but a little bit, you know, handcrafted, of course, because it is. Nope, oh, whoops. But the reason I wanted to get a squishy was because, like, my whole life I've been, like, really, really into fidgeting with, like, squishy things. And I used to do this with a kneaded eraser and then with sticky tack. I would just always have like something on my desk to squish, to fidget with and kind of mess around with, right? That was kind of like my, my fidget toy of choice, squishy things. And I, uh, I eventually stopped using my kneaded erasers and sticky tack and whatever because it was so sticky and messy and gross. Um, and also I, I uh, kind of lost them, but that's a story for another day. Um, but yeah, so I was like, like for a while, I've been really missing that feeling of just having that thing on my desk. And I was looking on like a s online stores. I was checking Amazon and like random ass online retailers for squishy toys and stress, like, you know, little stim toys for that are squishy. And I found some like cool things there that piqued my interest, but I was always so like, undecided because the, the reviews were often very mixed 
and that's like kind of a bad sign for me because I didn't want to buy something that wouldn't last um, and that could break so easily because that was like a common trend for some reason like all those squishy toys apparently were just breaking left and right so anyway I checked on Etsy couldn't even find anything there everything was either too expensive or just not really what I was looking for or just had bad reviews and then I found this and I clicked on the listing because of how adorable this little thing looked. I was like, I cannot believe that this little paper, like, taped little thing, right? Like, it looks so, like, it doesn't look like a very professional thing, for lack of better words. And I don't mean this in a bad way, but I was just not expecting to find something like this. And I still... It just melted my heart because it's just so cute. Like, look at this little thing. Look at this little happy face. I just can't get over how adorable it is. This makes me so happy when I saw it. And I was just like, I, just something about it really spoke to me. <laughs> Especially because I knew that it was like handmade by this, by this person. And I don't even know who made this, of course. But just the fact that I know that it was made with homemade materials, with a person's hands, not in like some factory or, you know, by an AI. <laughs> but something about that just really resonated with me, especially in a time like now when, you know, so much, especially for like us artists, we're, we're dealing with the AI stuff. It's just nice to see something like that. And I just, I, I sat on it for a few days, tried to find like a better option maybe, but then I eventually, <clears throat> I eventually decided, you know, I'm just gonna get this. I don't really want like a different, I don't want like a, you know, proper squishy. I think I just want this. And it might not be the best squishy, I thought to myself, but I, I still like it. I want to support this small little shop. I mean, it was really cheap, honestly, which I honestly feel like they should charge a little bit more for these just because it is handmade. Um, but I just, you know, thought, yeah, you know what, screw it. I'll, I'll get it. Why not? It ended up being like the most satisfying little squishy ever. It's so, so nice to squish. I seriously love it. I, it just out, it just like, you know, my expectations were uh, fulfilled or, you know, they, they exceeded my expectations. I cannot find the freaking words for the life of me today. But yeah, anyway, I really love it. It's so nice to squish, seriously. I just I just think it's so cute and I just wanted to tell you about this because it makes me so happy. Anyway, um, I guess I should, you know, put the shop in the description in case you want to check them out. Um, it's only right for me to do that, of course, not sponsored. I mean, that would be kind of silly, but um, yeah, I will put the, the Etsy shop in the description. They don't sell this exact one, of course, but they have like other little paper squishies. I think it's so cute. You know, support the small businesses out there because we, we need more of these sort of things in the world, in my opinion. Anyways, yeah, so this is now my favorite little squishy. I love it so much, and it has like a nice little squish to it. I like that noise. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's been making me very happy. Anyway, I have my, my Pusheen and my little pink catacorn. So yeah, I think they're friends. They make me so happy. By the way, this machine was like a gift. And when I got her, I cried because it was so cute. I am such an emotional person and I cry so easily. And this made me cry because I just think Pusheen is so adorable. Look at her. I'm sorry, I'm looking at her in the viewfinder because she's so cute. But anyways, I think it's going to be it for the sleepover. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very exhausted. I'm just... <laughs> rambling about random stuff but i hope you enjoyed the you know topics today i uh just had some random thoughts on my mind so i thought it would be a good time to do another sleepover Ooh, i almost dropped my catacorn on the floor that would be bad um but yeah i hope you enjoyed our second sleepover i really had so much fun so thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for the support on my first one i'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it i think this is so, such a fun cute concept i love these types of videos on youtube where you just like get to hang out with a person it's just great so yeah i would love to make more for you guys let me know of course text me if you want to be invited to our third sleepover i will gladly invite you over once again anyways i think it's time for us to go to bed and i will uh, make you breakfast in the morning don't worry i will i'm gonna cook you pancakes 
and eggs and sausages, like breakfast sausages. If you don't eat meat, then maybe you'll just have the pancakes. If you don't eat pancakes, okay, maybe, maybe I cannot accommodate to everyone and I'm sorry, but anyways. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your evening or day or whatever time it is. And I will see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>